Okay, I am back. Um, J.D. Vance, at this moment, probably stands a pretty good chance of being fired by Donald Trump, and I'll tell you why. Um, One of the cardinal rules, in fact, the cardinal rule of this orange piece of human waste, Donald Christ, God, Jesus, Trump, is tell as many lies as you can and don't ever under any circumstances equivocate. Of course, he wouldn't know that word, but um, never, ever would be Trump's uh, lexicon. Never, ever admit you were wrong. Never, not ever, not ever. Well, Vance acknowledged Tuesday, yesterday, before or during or after, I don't know, but yesterday, that it's possible, just possible that the, the the claim, which is in itself bullshit, that Haitian immigrants are abducting pets in Springfield, Ohio, and eating them, that maybe, uh, maybe that's not true. J.D. Vance said that. This is his direct quote, which he posted on X. Quote, In the last several weeks, my office has received many inquiries from actual residents of Springfield who've said their neighbors' pets or local wildlife were abducted by Haitian migrants. It's possible, of course, that all these rumors will turn out to be false. End quote. So, what this weaselly son of a bitch who is in so far over his head he can't see daylight anymore, what he's doing is saying something that Trump, Trump probably took him behind the woodshed, so to speak, after he said that. And and I'm sure the conversation went something like, what the fuck are you doing, J.D.? When I tell a lie, goddammit, or when you tell a lie, don't call it a lie. It becomes gospel truth because it comes from my mouth. And who am I? I'm God Christ Jesus Donald Trump to these stupid fucking Christian fascists. Ooh. So Vance did continue by saying, quote, but you know what's confirmed? That a child was murdered by a Haitian migrant who had no right to be there. Now, he's talking about a Haitian uh, immigrant who was not licensed to drive a car, who hit a school bus and a kid was killed, which is a horrific tragedy. But according to NBC, let me share with you what that child's father has now said. Let me quote directly. The father of an 11-year-old Ohio boy who was killed last year when a minivan driven by a Haitian immigrant struck his school bus said Tuesday that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance were, quote, morally bankrupt politicians, end quote, who were using his dead son as a political tool. Abso-fucking-lutely. Do you think Donald Trump and now this little prick J.D. Vance care anything about the child or the parents or the circumstances? No. Only insofar as they can use it as some kind of a cudgel against Kamala Harris. Now, the father here is Nathan Clark. He lives in Springfield. And he denounced both of these clown fuckers on the Republican Christian fascist ticket. And he asked, this will never happen, he asked Trump and Vance to apologize when he gave, when the dad gave an impassioned speech before the city commission after Vance mentioned the death of Clark's son, Aiden, as a reason to oppose Haitian immigration. There is nothing that Trump and now this little fucker, uh, J.D. Vance, will not do in order to instill more fear and division in this country. This is what the father said. Um, quote, using Aiden as a political tool is, to say the least, reprehensible for any political Purpose. This needs to stop now. I will listen to them one more time to hear their apologies. End quote. So that's from the dad. Now, do you want to, do you want, you don't need proof, but would you like a little bit of proof about 
the absolute filth that that is in Donald Trump and J.D. Vance where the normal person has a conscience or compassion inside these two fuckers is nothing but debris and hate and divisiveness. Because when asked for a comment on the dad's statement, Luke Schroeder, a spokesman for Vance, said that Vice President Kamala Harris should apologize to people who are victims of crime committed by immigrants, some of whom have blamed the Biden administration and testified before Congress. End quote. And then the little prick added, the Clark family is in Senator Vance's prayers. Oh, you fucking piece of shit, you. I mean, seriously, Luke Schroeder, nice Christian name there. I. And then representatives for the orange vomit Christ God Jesus Donald Trump um, did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Earlier yesterday, the Trump Vance campaign pushed this dead child and his family right front and center into this country's political spotlight. And J.D. Vance, this miserable fuck, alluded to 11-year-old Aiden in a post on 6, writing, quote, a child was murdered by a Haitian migrant, end quote. And on Monday, an ex account used by the Trump campaign posted a tweet about Aiden, these dirty bastards. Now, this young lad died over a year ago on the first day of school when a minivan driven by a Haitian immigrant hit the bus that the kids were riding in. And the driver of the, 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 the minivan was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter and vehicular homicide and sentenced to 9 to 13 years in prison. The Trump campaign immediately seized on that, these dirty, filthy pigs, and pushed out and promoted the bullshit claim that Haitian immigrants, well, you've heard him, especially from shithole countries. And, and I mentioned if they keep talking about this, the Haitians in Springfield ought to loosen the Tantan Mokut onto these fuckers. That would put a stop to this very quickly. But they were using the Trump campaign, using the rumors about family pets to attack Harris's record on immigration and using the accidental death of this 11-year-old child as another weapon. They don't give a fuck about the dead child or the family or the grief or the sadness or the loss. They don't care. They're incapable. That's why J.D. Vance, on the other hand, was a perfect selection for Trump as his vice president running mate because J.D. Vance has no fucking soul or center in his useless body either. And on Tuesday, before the debate, the Orange Filth also posted what appeared to be an AI-generated image showing him with cats and other animals Oh, God. <sighs> Which was the orange vomit's way of giving a little snarky nod to the lies about people eating house pets, Haitians eating house pets. Now, as far as the, the, the Clark family, the family of this 11-year-old child that was killed... The mother and father have repeatedly asked people not to connect their son's death with immigration or use his death to support hatred against Haitians. There, at, at that meeting, I just mentioned Mr. Clark and his wife, Danielle, uh, they stood together and said it was not true that his son was murdered, which is the term that this rotten bastard J.D. Vance had used. This is what the dad said, quote, My son, Aiden Clark, was not murdered. He was accidentally killed by an immigrant from Haiti. The city has fell all over this community, the state, and even the nation. But don't spend this towards hate. 
In order to live like Aden, you need to accept everyone, end quote. Um, well, Mr. Clark, I hear you. Decent Americans hear you. Normal people hear you. People with a heart and or a soul. People who understand compassion hear you. But the Christian filth in this country who see Donald Christ, God, Jesus, Trump as their redeemer, they don't give a fuck about your son or anybody's son or daughter or anything. All they care about is supporting this orange bastard so they can get their fascist Christian theocracy established in this country. Now, my usual caveat, I'm not ta- I was brought up a Christian <laughs> I'm not talking about people who follow the traditional, although it's not true, teachings of Jesus of Nazareth, the rabbi who tried to bring a little bit of fucking common sense to people in the Middle East 2,000 years ago and was executed for it. Well, actually, he was executed because he was trying to get the Romans out of the Holy Land, what he considered to be the Holy Land. But if you're one of those Christians, you go to church, you sing the hymns, you toss a few bucks in the offering plate, you listen to the to the preacher give give his sermon. And the sermons, when they're not hell and brimstone, are usually very humanistic. They're the type of thing you could hear from your therapist. Or you could go to Unitarian Universalist Church and hear the same thing. To you people, I... I have no respect for your religion, but I have respect for you that you feel that what you are doing is contributing to the good of yourself and your community. Good on you. I've said this a thousand times, and I need to say it every time I bring up my absolute hatred of these putrid Christian fascists for what they have done to the tales and the mythologies of Christianity. They have totally corrupted it and destroyed it. So, once again, I try to make myself clear about that. And back to this child's father, Aiden's father, who died in that accident, Nathan Clark. Mr. Clark named four politicians who he said were, quote, these are his words, morally bankrupt for referring to his son in the way they're doing it. Trump, Vance, the Republican nominee for the Senate, Bernie Moreno, who's running against, uh, what's his name? I forget. And this piece of shit from Texas, Representative Chip Roy. Mr. Clark said, quote, they have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. They can vomit all the hate they want about illegal immigrants, the border crisis, and even lies about fluffy pets being ravaged and eaten by community members. However, they are not allowed, nor have they ever been allowed, to mention Aiden Clark from Springfield, Ohio. End quote. Nathan Clark. 11-year-old Aiden Clark's father. It, it, it is so criminal. Just, I, I, I mean, as you know, I have struggled and struggled and struggled to find new ways to indicate my absolute disgust and contempt for Trump and anybody associated with him, Christian, Jew, I don't care. A lawyer, political consultant, anyone who associates their, their, their political, their, their, um, any part of their life with this orange vomit is to me a goddamn beneath contempt American citizen and should know better. I don't understand it. I will never understand it. Eventually, this orange bastard is going to be rotting in a fucking hole someplace while maggots and worms eat him. But until that time, 
and even after that time. Why the Christians in this country have chosen the Christian fascists have chosen to deify him, to put him same level, oh my God, as the rabbi Jesus of Nazareth. What the fuck kind of madness is this? Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.